Up first, we have RMO. This is Romeo Power, and guys, you know, uh, full disclosure, I do own shares of Romeo. Um, I think you guys know that if you've watched for a while. So, you know, let's face it, there wasn't a lot of positive from this earnings report, right? So um, they announced uh, sales of $4.6 million versus $3.1 million in the prior fourth quarter. That was the positive. The, the negative, though, was that their full fiscal year 2020 revenue was $9 million. In that investor presentation, their estimate was $11 million. And then the big reason for today's fall in the share price was their guidance going forward. So they originally projected fiscal 2021 revenue of $140 million. Their updated revenue projection for fiscal 2021 is now 18 to $40 million. Um, Big change there, obviously, in the guidance. Um, shares were down over 20% last I saw today. Um, you know, th this is a big miss. And let's face it, one of the, the positives about SPACs is they can do that forward-looking guidance compared to a traditional IPO. Um, this one is similar to, you know, a, a Clover Health, where when they issue that guidance, it's coming, you know, shy of original projections, which is not what we want to see out there from these SPACs. They, they did blame a couple things, um, the supply chain uh, infrastructure um, for their batteries, and then also several people noting, uh, again, Romeo Power um, is a partner with Nikola and also a partner with Workhorse. So it could be that in their projections, they had banked in a little bit too much into that Nikola deal, which obviously we know what's going on with Nikola. And then also possibly with Workhorse getting the USPS deal, which as of now they do not have. Um, so I think, you know, Romeo just, you know, missing on some deals for 2021. Um, I want to see what, what's going to happen in 2022 and going forward. And, and also maybe how other battery companies are doing. Romeo is a partner with Lion Electric that has been hitting on all cylinders lately. So uh, I'm going to keep an eye out. Again, I do still own shares of RMO. Um, but, you know, again, not a very positive report out there.